Welcome, friends. I'm Shio. OBS has released an exciting new feature that helps content creators have more control over their production. I'm going to show you how to strip away an audio track from your Twitch stream VODs, highlights, and clips. Whether it's music or getting rid of a vocal track so you can save your raw game sounds, we can now separate what gets streamed and what gets recorded. The easy bit is how to separate what gets recorded and what gets streamed on Twitch. This is assuming you have something like Voice Meet or Banana installed already to separate your audio into different usable tracks. If you don't have Voice Meet or Banana or some form of virtual audio cable control, stick around for part two of this video to find out how to set that up. Disclaimer, you should only stream with music that you have rights to do so with. I do not encourage this to be used for bypassing content ID algorithms on your videos, but for greater control as a content creator. Part 1. Open OBS. In the top left, click File and open the Settings menu. On the left of the new window, click on the Output tab. At the very top, next to the Output mode, change the setting to Advanced. This gives you an advanced view of your streaming and recording output. The newly introduced feature is the Twitch VOD track. Make sure this box is clicked and select a separate audio track. My base audio track is one, my Twitch VOD track is two. Once this is done, click apply and then OK in the bottom right corner to return to the main OBS window. Now in the audio mixer, to the right of the sources, right-click an audio source and click on Advanced Audio Properties. On the far right, you will see tracks with checkboxes between channels 1 through 6. You will want all audio being sent for streaming to your track number 1. We see everything has a checkmark for this track. Now we can remove an audio track to be saved for VODs, clips, and highlights by unchecking track 2 for that audio source. This is a much needed feature and hopefully this helps. Part two. Navigate to vbaudio.com. There's a link in the description and click on the banana tab. Download and install Voice Meter Banana, which will require a restart of your system. When this is installed, navigate back to vbaudio.com and click on the virtual audio cable tab. The VB Cable Virtual Audio Device is a single output track, and there are download links for both Windows and Mac OS. There are more down below if you have a desire to separate out more tracks, but for our purposes, we will continue with just the basics. Navigate to the folder where this file was downloaded and right-click the file to extract as it is currently in a compressed state. When this is extracted, open the folder and right-click the VB Cable Setup executable file and click Run as Administrator. Follow the prompts to install this and then restart your system again. When your system has booted, click your sound icon in the bottom right notification area and select Voice Meter Aux Input. If ever there is an issue with no sound from your PC, this is absolutely the first place to check. Voice Meter Banana looks like a very confusing program at first, but it's actually a really cool and powerful bit of software. The first thing to do is select a hardware out on the right. It should be flashing with some red text if it's not been selected yet. Select whatever your default would be, such as Realtek Digital Output, your speakers, headphones, your monitor speakers, etc., whatever your default out of your PC is. This tells the program where to send your audio. On the left, we have our two hardware inputs, and in the middle, we have our virtual inputs. I use one for my microphone to monitor it, and the second one I set to the VB Audio Virtual Cable, the one we just installed. Now all we need to do is direct traffic. In a lot of programs, under the Audio tabs, you can select which output you want for audio. Many things, so often different games and programs like Spotify, don't have the option to choose the audio out. If you can't change the audio output of a program to our VB Audio Virtual Cable, we'll need to do it through Windows. Open the Windows Sound Settings. 
either by right-clicking the sound icon in your notification area and selecting it there, or by pressing the Windows key to open the Start menu, typing in Sound Settings and selecting it there. Double-check your default audio device is set to Voice Meter Aux Input, then scroll down to Advanced Sound Options. Click the App Volume and Device Preferences to open the next window. As long as you have an active program that has audio, it should be listed here. That means something like Spotify isn't going to show up unless it is actually playing a song. Whether you can hear the song or not, it's very important that it needs to be active. There are two columns beside each volume slider for each app, the output on the left and the input on the right. Select the output for your desired program. In this case, I'm using Spotify and change it to our VP audio cable. Next to the audio level indicator is a list of buttons A and B. These tell the program where to send the channel to be monitored. They line up direct with your hardware outputs like your speakers that we set up earlier. So if your speakers are on A and A is highlighted, it's going to send it to A. If your speakers are A and your monitor is B and both A and B are highlighted, it's going to send that program or that channel to both sources. You will see next to the channel buttons a slider at 0 dB. This is 0 decibels. This is the monitoring volume and the monitoring volume only. Changing this will only change it for what you hear locally. If you are streaming with OBS and you slide this all the way down to negative 60 decibels, the lowest setting, it won't change it on your stream but it will change it for your speakers. Voice Meter allows you to easily control different audio sources and mix them for your computer's audio outputs. It also allows us to separate our audio into different channels so that we can control what is streamed and what isn't. Do you want live music, but you don't want your stream to hear it? Voice Meter is the solution. Do you have an ongoing Discord call with your gaming friends, but you don't want it to be recorded onto your VOD? Voice Meter is again the solution. There are many ways to use the software, and I think it's one of the best tools a streamer can have alongside OBS. Now, lastly, to add each audio source to OBS. Open the OBS program and click the plus sign at the bottom of the sources column. Add an audio output capture and select your source. We can make one for our general PC sounds like games and browsers and notifications using the voice meter aux input device. This is your default device. Now we repeat for a separated channel. Add a new audio output capture under sources, and this time select the VP audio cable as the device. Now in OBS, we have our music on one track and everything else on another. You can do this for Discord or Google Chrome or whatever you desire to separate out of your audio mix. Lastly, while Voice Meter is a great program, it can lead to some audio issues. In the top right of the program window is the menu button. From here, you can restart your audio engine. It's a good thing to do if you have audio problems. Double check that your default audio device is the Voice Meter aux input. Double check your Windows sound settings have the programs going to the right channels. Double check that OBS has the right inputs for each audio output capture under sources. And it's usually one of these that are off. Especially after Windows updates, OBS updates, program updates, video card updates, whatever it might be, if you have audio issues, it's probably going to be one of these things. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful for you. The new OBS feature to send a separate audio track for your VOD is a really, really awesome feature that I have been hoping for for a long time. In conjunction with Voice Meter, we as streamers have much more control over the content we are producing. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Stay cute, friends. Bye bye.